afternoon and welcome back to another vlog Hi. here on Coaster Crazy. Hi! <laughs> As you can see we've parked the motorhome up over there. I think it's free parking along here. And we're in Aberdeen. I think it's the first time I've ever been to here, to Aberdeen. First time I've ever been to Aberdeen. Mm. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've come to uh, Cadona's, which is just down the coast. I should really take my sunglasses off because it's not actually that bright. It is. Yeah, it is. But I can't see the screen that well. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, a lovely area around here so yeah we've literally just parked over there can't see anywhere to pay for parking and we're walking to Cadona's which is just there they've got um, a caterpillar coaster that I need the cred um, there's a ferris wheel there's a few other little rides obviously we won't be here that long we've got Tilly with us and then we're off to well, Martin actually did do a little plan for us. He said, oh, I could drive back down the coast to our Broth, where there's an indoor amusement park. But after the past couple of days of doing what we planned to do, we just haven't got the time. We was in uh, Co Coddy um, for about an hour and a half. And by the time we got back to the uh, campsite last night where we stayed, which was very nice. What was it, Tardale and Deeside or something like that? Oh, Tarland at Deeside or of Deeside. It was very nice. The facilities were a bit like, mm, mm, not the best. Yeah, it was a caravan and motor hub, motorhome uh, caravan club site. It was nice. The, the, the location was nice, but the facilities were not great. Um, yeah, so by the time we got there and set up, we'd. Oh, we ordered some food, didn't we? Yeah, ordered some food. Again, it was all right. <laughs> there was like a local restaurant, um, hotel type thing in the little village. Oh, that's nice, and they left like flowers down. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's nice that they've left the flowers. Um, so we got food and we, we had to go and pick that up and it was all right, I had a mar margarita pizza. It was all right, it was just a pizza and we had some chips and things. But yeah, by the time we'd set up, you know, got everything set up and it was time for bed really. So yeah, so the plan was today was to go back to our broth, um, but it's, and, <laughs> and then and then drive to Glasgow uh, for the Gal Galactic Fair or something. I just don't think we'll have time. Um, it's it's ten past one now, and I've no idea how long it's got to take to drive to the next campsite, which is the last one we're doing. This is quite cool. I've got the double decker bus. It's like a, a cafe inside, cold drinks and stuff. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We're definitely not doing our broth anyway. Uh, the, the the main was to have a holiday and chill out, and so far we haven't really done that because uh, of the driving as well. It's taken us about an hour to get here and I'm guessing it's got to be a couple of hours to the last campsite which is near Glasgow so we'll see what time we'll get there we might be able to do that fair the galactic thing uh, it looks all right from what I've seen some like Star Warsy stuff and uh, <laughs> space themed rides and it looks all right but then yeah tomorrow we're going to uh, M and D's for the first time in like six years, uh, get the coast of credit there. And we'll try and get there as early as possible. And then we've probably got another seven to eight hour drive back home. Um, uh, and then that's it, you know, so let's we'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's go and find a, a coffee or something to eat. We've got the scooters there. And uh, I'll start the vlog, we'll get, get a bit closer to uh, Codona's. It's quite nice round here. You got like this leisure co complex. I can't speak. <laughs> I'm terrible at a, a leisure complex or a leisure park. Queens Links. You got Pizza Hut and you've got a, a Frankie and Benny's and Cine World and TGI Fridays just there as well. You got the Turkish Kitchen Bar and Grill. You got Car Twos. Not Car Twos is Grill and some other. We're after a proper chippy. Uh, because I have had one before, but I want a, a battered Mars bar. 
or a deep fried haggis or something. We haven't had the chance to have anything local since we've been here really. It's nice though. You got a Turkish place. Uh, barking mad coffee and cakes. Dog friendly. Dog friendly. Dog friendly, that's good to see. Barking mad. Yeah, and the uh, amusement park's just, just in here somewhere. Looks alright from the outside. But like I said, I don't think there's many rides here. Just, just came for the credit, really. <laughs> just show you what's here if you want to come yourself. Like, you know, this is, this is what we do as an enthusiast. You know, you've got to come and see all these places. Um, and I think this is pretty much one of the last, yeah, crossing, one of the last amusement parks I need to visit with a coaster in the UK, other than a couple in uh, Northern Ireland, which are currently closed. I think one of them's Barry's Amusements. I think they're reopening it. They were going to knock it down and turn it into houses, I think. I think the entrance to the amusement park's just a bit further down here. Oh, cool, I fancy a coffee. But yeah, it's that's it. It's, it's pretty much coming to an end now, really, of visiting all these places in the UK. And then it's re revisits, which yeah, it's nice to go back to a few places, but not everything. Dog friendly place here as well. Peanut butter. Lisa. Dog friendly um, ice cream. Gelato. There we are, amusement park. Uh, yeah, dogs are allowed in, yeah. Well, I hope so. Everything else is dog friendly. So, this is quite nice. Yeah, so they've done a lot of updates to it recently. Um, then the coast is up on the roof somewhere. Yeah, up there. There's the caterpillar. They've got all this new go karting section here. The Ferris wheel. There's an indoor area. And well, that's really about it, really. There's like this track ride down here. Looks quite nice. Oh, so we probably won't be here long. It's just to come and get the credit, really. Make a little vlog out of it. And uh, get on the uh, get on a few rides just to see, have a, have a look, really. It didn't say anything about dogs. It's quite nice. Ask the general if you can see her more. Always the best. So, yeah. I haven't really done many Scottish amusement parks or even theme parks. I mean, M&D's is classed as a theme park, but it's not really, is it? But look at this here. This is really, really nice. I've got to get copyrighted off uh, the Mar Maricle now. It's quite a good film, though, that, to be honest. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Encanto. <laughs> And Canto, yeah, really, really pretty place, really nice. What a nice little amusement park this is. This go kart track's amazing. All electric as well. Really, really smart. It's giving me the vibes of um, like a fun spot in America, like Fun Spot Orlando or Fun Spot Kissimmee. Um, you've got a a waltzer over here as well, that might be worth a go. I don't know how long we'll be here for, but it looks really nice. It's really clean and tidy. You've got these different times for the racing. Race. The price is there. Single car, one race, £7.50. Don't know if they do uh, wristbands or tokens or what, I don't really know. Oh, credits, credits sold here. Yeah, there's a nice waltzer just there. A lovely little place, it's really nice. You know, like these fake flowers in here, it's really nice. Cadona's waltzer, that'll be worth going on, I've never been on there. So yeah, it's a fun car, so you get a pound, pay a pound for your fun card and you just top up what you need to go on really so uh, yeah there's two three four five six twelve rides twelve attractions um, apart from the go-karts that's a separate I think so the Apple coaster yeah 
to do with like a coffee or something. We haven't really eaten any breakfast as such. There's a really nice bar here. Oh yeah, we've got the drop tower as well, which is inside this. Oh, these squirty uh, things, all the floors soaking wet. Oh, there's another... oh, this is where we're on the, on the campsite. <laughs> this is where we're on the campsite that we're on. There's the poodle. <laughs> Over there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, down there. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. Like the tree in the middle there. So the bumper boats are the ones that they squirt water. It looks really nice. And it's soaking wet on there. And I think, I think that's about it, really. Oh, and there's a. Miniature golf course just here. So it's not the biggest place, but it's very nice. And what they've got here is pretty good quality. The theming's really nice. It's like a high, uh, like a climbing frame, play park area for kids. Yeah, so I'll probably do the drop tower. Get, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful poodle. Yeah, that's what they count. Beautiful dog. See it? Oh God! <laughs> you get wet, right? I turn the camera off. Maybe get a drink. See what Lisa wants to do. She's so she's taking pictures of Tilly. She's over there. <laughs> I'll get some tokens. I'll get me a little card. So I'll probably do the waltz, uh, the drop tower, and the coaster. The go karts look pretty cool as well, actually. Right, so I've got my fun card. Um, I've put on three, seven, I think it was. No, not seven, eight, eight. So I'll go to the drop tower first. I think you just scan it at the at the entrance, and then you get on it. I think, yeah, scan it on it. There you go. Put my bag down and get on the drop tower. Oh, loads of seats here. Put my bag down there. I like the fact that it's on like this. Ship. That's pretty cool. Love these little FBF visa drop towers. Seat belt in. There we go, send it. Loads of room on here, it's brilliant. Let me unstrap back on. Yeah, I'm in. Loads of room on this, dead comfortable. Yeah, what a lovely day, it's really nice. So yeah, I think you pay per ride. I'll have a look at what I've just spent. I you just, I just put it on my card. <laughs> I don't really know. But yeah, so three for this, three for the waltzer, and then two for the apple coaster. And then you gotta pay separate for the, um, the go-karts. But yeah, here we go. What a lovely little place this is. It's really nice. There's your golf down there. There's your pirate ship. I won't bother with that. Loads of room for event spaces. What's up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want this to come down a bit, but I've got loads of air time on here. Water park over there. <laughs> the go-kart track looks amazing. Whoa, this is well good. Woo! <laughs> it's better than crop drop. At least this one turns around. Technically the same sort of thing, to be honest. Whoa! <laughs> Woo oh, it's brilliant. Really good. Really nice area. There's like this indoor section here as well. Woo! Oh, bowling. Yeah, I was gonna go on there, but the operator just, I don't know, she went over to the toilet, I think. The go-karts look amazing. So I think that's where the coaster used to be. Oh! <laughs> well, they moved it and put it on the roof. It's just over there. 
Yeah, we're not gonna be here long. Desperate for a coffee. At Starbucks or something. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> then that's it, <laughs> there we go. That was awesome, good drop tower that. Yeah, so it's actually called Dead Man's Drop, three tokens per ride. Yeah, it's really good, I like the fact that it's in this pirate theme, obviously it's pirate themed. And you go up the, the, uh, the mast, it's brilliant, really good, I love a good. SBF Visa drop tower, just get a couple of pizzas while I'm here as well. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook as well. Instagram, Coaster Crazy for more pictures. Oh, cool, we'll do the waltzer now. There's nothing down on this section here that else I want to go on. Don't know how long the cycles are, but that drop tower was very good. I think it's a really nice park, this. It's a classic one this, it's got the, uh, the handles just behind me in the middle to release the car. Whoa! Oh my god! Whoa! Woo! Ah! Wow! Woo! Ah! Wow, that's good! Like, uh, they've got like a brake in the middle to release the cars uh, and then he's obviously got a timer on it and he's out there spinning the cars as well not so much spinning really but yeah he's, he's out of the platform and then it just stops uh, brilliant really good settle that really good spinning really nice and smooth good classic people love vloggers out here they really do there's like everyone's looking at me it's just weird it's like I'm on a different planet or from a different planet I need to get a ticket for the um, for the go-karts because uh, I really want to do them, they look amazing. Other than that, just got the uh, the coaster to do, which is on top of the building, she's here. <laughs> Tilly! Hello! Hello, Tilly! <laughs> she loves her daddy. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and get a ticket for the go-karts. I went over to the... The booth over there, and it's like, oh, I don't do, I don't sell them from here. I don't know, so I need to go and find that. Well, yeah, I'll be back in a minute, I think. Well, just come in the indoor section here. Yeah, the rules are a bit different over here in Scotland regarding face masks. Some people are wearing them, some are not. I'm obviously not bothering because in the UK, well, the in England, you don't. It's not a requirement, but yeah, really nice inside here. 
really, really big arcade. It's like a restaurant or something up there. It's really smart. Toilets here if you just want the toilets. Loads of nice machines. Smuggler's Cove. Yeah, it's really smart. Yeah, find, need to go and find me tokens for the uh, pay for the go karts. Well, yeah, it's a really nice place. This Cadogan is. If you're coming up to Scotland doing a trip, I, I highly recommend this place. I really do. Uh, what's this? Drop off and pick up point. I don't know if it's a kids play area or something. I don't really know. We got like these little booths just up here. It looks really smart. Right, so I've got my um, ticket. Well. We've added it to the fun card, £7.50 for the go-karts. But there's so many options here, we've actually been to the third place to find about getting tickets. I had to literally get it from the bowling alley, but yeah, they do a wristband. The wristband is £25.99 on the door and like £21 online. Uh, there's individual tickets, there's, uh, there's a laser maze thing, combat laser thing that they've got here, laser tag thing. There's loads of stuff here. You could spend a whole day. $25.99 for the amount of rides they've got. Um, <laughs> going on the go kart. Um, I don't know if it's enough um, for what, what there is on offer. Like I said, I don't think the go karts are included in the wristband. I actually have no idea. I should have just got a wristband, but I'm only going on like three rides. I don't know if it's worth, I don't think it's worth the £25 for wristbands. But yeah, I'll get me chest harness on now. Hopefully I can get some POV footage of the awesome looking go-karts because these look amazing. Love a good go-kart track. Alright, here we go. Time to send it on the go-karts. I think you only get about five minutes on it. It's not the longest cycle but the track is absolutely amazing the concrete floor is so flat electric as well yeah looking forward to this to be honest we need more well here we're off we need more of these uh, electric go-kart tracks in the uk Oh, this is brilliant. And it's on like three levels. Oh, it's just a bit bumpy. <laughs> Sorry if the footage is a bit bumpy. What a great track. So you can see Blackpool Pleasure Beach having something like this. I know like, um, I'm not I'm not that keen on upcharges and things like that, but I would say this was worth an upcharge if they had something at Blackpool. Even if it was um, up against a promenade somewhere, not down the old, some of the old buildings. It's brilliant, this. And it looks like they do different times as well different race times there's like a, an adult session at night and they could probably set the speed limits on these as well so they could do like corporate events and things which is really good just wish it was a little bit faster <laughs> Slobies here. Well, 
It's super smooth though, it's really, really, really good. Thing is as well, this actual building that it's in, I don't even know if it's finished because you'd think that it would it would all be covered over. Uh, <laughs> Weight does play a part as well, he was behind me, I'm sure of it. So that's it, we've come to the end. The other thing you didn't see was another lap. Yeah. There's one extra lap, is the other thing you didn't see. Then it's the thing that charges the cars up. Oh. All the way, all the way. Keep going. Yeah, that was awesome. That really, really, really good. Highly recommend a visit to Cadona's. Yeah, this is really good. Oh, 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 oh! God. My God! <laughs> no head-on bumping or rear-end bumping here. Oh, nice one! Cheers. He subscribed. <laughs> yeah, the uh, go karts was awesome. Really, really good. It could have been an, a little bit faster. Oh, and sanitizer. Don't need that now. Um, yeah, it could have been a little bit faster, but very, very good. Very smooth. You're on it now. <laughs> very smooth. Yeah, it was about five laps on it, and that was about it, really. I mean, this place is saying it says. Starbucks coffee, so that's where I'm getting my coffee from. Right, I'm heading up towards the coaster now, it's up on the roof. And then that's it, we're going. I've got to find something to eat, and then we've got to go over to the next campsite. We'll probably head towards Glasgow, see if we've got enough time to do this galactic fun fair, but I, I, I don't really know. I mean, I've just got a message off Lisa saying she's taking Tilly out on the front because she's, uh, she's crying, so... <laughs> She doesn't really like hanging around. Oh, entrance for the Apple, Apple Coaster. Yeah, sitting around doing nothing. It's not fair on those, to be honest. So yeah, up on the roof. So yeah, the coaster used to be where the go-karts is now, but it looks amazing. This is a really nice little place. Entrance, is it here or is it another level? I think it's even further up. This is the toilet. That's oh, a rest. Oh, the restaurant. Oh, so yeah, it's another one up. It's a restaurant in there. It smells really good. Yeah, it's the next one up. There we are. Oh, another cred. <laughs> another cred. It's another caterpillar. I can't have many of these left to do, I really can't. Other than this one, there's the one at MND's. I think Fantasy Island has just got a new caterpillar. And then that's it, really. I've almost done them all. Yeah, is there a name for it? Is the entrance and exit the same way? I don't really know. Yeah, nice. Nice views up here. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it smells like a uh, an Aussie barbecue up here. Yeah. The, <laughs> oh God Almighty! The restaurant that's downstairs, the vent for it is like just there somewhere behind me because of the direction of the wind. <coughs> oh God! <laughs> it's blowing over here. <laughs> and this this poor girl here, the operator, she's got to have to stand and smell this all day long, all day. <laughs> Well, yeah, here we go. <laughs> About to send it. The barbecue coaster. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> like I say, it should be pointed the other direction. Oh, man, what a smell. <laughs> it's so strong. Barbecue coaster. 
Yeah, you'll see it in a minute how smoky it is. Oh my god. <laughs> it's there, look at the vent. Look at the all the smoke coming out of it. Oh man. That's why they should put the uh, the apple on the apple. Oh god almighty. Oh, <laughs> the barbecue coaster. Send it. And the old Pinfari model, pretty sure of it. It's quite nice, they've made it look nice and presentable. Woo! Credit, credit, credit. It's got the banging tunes on. Oh, come on, flat! Yeah, this is the last ride here. Yeah, I've actually really enjoyed it, actually. It's not the longest vlog in the world, I didn't think it would be anyway. Uh, just a few rides, probably would have done the ferris wheel if we had more time and we uh, didn't have Tilly with us but yeah, we've got to go understand, we've got the dog, she doesn't like just sitting around doing nothing she, you know, she's a dog, isn't um, so she's probably gone for a wander around somewhere but there's loads of stuff here, Frankie and Benny, the rains, there's Cine World behind us so it's a whole destination resort really, there's loads of stuff here if it's a two lap special or a three lap special Woo! Pretty good. Just wish I had the apple. I think it's a three lapper. Two lapper. Three lapper. Three. Yes! Yes! Love a good three lap special. Barbecue ride. The barbecue coaster. So yeah, I need to point me sat and have the next location of where we're staying tonight because I've no idea if it's like a two or three hour drive then this next fair, although I'd love to do it, it might, it might have to give it a miss and then there'll be people going, oh, why didn't you go and do it? Why didn't you have more time to plan it? But uh, it was, uh, it's not much of a holiday if you're just driving the whole time. Ah, which I don't mind, I like driving but it's just so tiring, I'm driving around and my eyes are... I'm, I'm like stopping myself from falling asleep. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Barbecue coaster. Yeah, the uh, apple coaster, barbecue coaster, what a smoky coaster, whatever you want to call it. It was very good, nice and smooth, old classic Pimpfari, I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, very, very good. Uh, they've also got like this indoor section here with like the little spinning bumper boat things not bumper boats but you know what i mean like the moon buggy things that you spin on uh, again very confusing this place this kiosk here says proudly serve starbucks but when you go and have a look they don't actually do the coffee they don't do the coffee on the outdoors at this time of year gotta go inside and order it so yeah gotta get, go and get myself a coffee or find myself a coffee and then I've got a Mecca move, but yeah, little teacups here as well, and a little, little, little flat ride for kids. Really nice here, I really recommend a visit. Really, really pretty. Like all the little flowers and stuff everywhere as well. It's alright, cheers. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go in here. Smuggler's Cove, they said. Oh, uh, need to change the setting for the lighting. There you go, it's better. I'll get a coffee somewhere else. <laughs> Lisa stood up here waiting for me. I said I was coming, but she spotted me. <laughs> anyway, that's it. We're going, we're leaving Cadona. So I actually have no idea what we're doing now. Probably going to find something to eat. It's a very nice park. It's very clean, tidy, modern. They've done a lot of work to it, like all this go-kart track and the, like the decking and some of the theming around. It's very pretty. I like the sign as well, just there. So you got the ferris wheel and the coaster, a few kids rides, really good indoor section. I think the go-karts are the highlight of the park for me. But yeah, if you enjoyed what you, um, you've you seen, uh, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next, uh, next time I upload another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.